Masha's spooky stories. Hey, well, who's afraid of going to the woods? Ready to hear a story about the forest? A swamp? Ravens and gullies? Okay, listen carefully. And an old, old house near an old, old forest lived a man called Senya. He had a dog he loved called Princess. One day she ate a piece of meat but was afraid that Sonia would get angry, so she fled to the forest. Someone had to go look for her. Only Sonia was afraid of going to the forest because he was very scared of getting lost. <laughs> but he had to go. So he sighed, closed his eyes in fear, and went. Hey, hey, princess! Princess, where are you? He kept crashing into branches and hitting his head, but he wouldn't open his eyes because he was scared. Then he thought he heard something on the left. Ooh, the right. Ooh, from above. For some time, Sanya wandered through the swamps, ravens, gullies, and then he found three pine trees. But then he was completely lost in the woods. All right, he thought. It's all over for me and my dog. Oh, my darling princess, I'm never gonna find you. And then something happened. Senya heard someone calling him quietly. He opened his eyes. Good heavens! The sun had set. The clouds were in the sky and the forest all around was dense and silent. Then the voice again, turn around and face me with your back to the forest. Senya completely froze and turned around slowly to look. Standing on the stump right in front of him was a boy who said nothing. He was looking straight into his eyes. Senya lost his nerves, but he didn't show it and said, What's going on, buddy? I was just passing by. Wow, you're quite strict, I see. Are you from these woods? Oh, no, 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 I got mixed up. Okay, look. The mysterious boy was spitting seeds, looking at Senya. And then he said, A king, a prince, a shoemaker, and a trailer. Which one of these are you, sir? Tell me as quick as you can. Don't keep a good and honest people waiting, man. So Senya told him everything about Princess. She ran away and how he got lost into the woods. I am Makar, a cowboy, answered the boy. You, sir, wandered far. I didn't even chase the cows here. Help me, Makar. Help me find my way home, begged Senya. When I went to school, I never did my homework in science, so I can't recognize the cardinal directions or read a compass. Now, I'm afraid to go into the woods. <laughs> Maker sighed. Oh my, there are a lot like you. Uneducated mushroom hunters who always get lost. But I'll help you. I kind of like you. And off they went as they slowly strolled into the woods. As they were walking, he silently looked back at Senya, beckoning him to follow and gently nodding his head. It was getting gloomier all around. The forest was getting thicker. It was scary. Suddenly a light glimmered in front of them. One, two, and a third one. As Senya looked up, he saw his own village in the distance. Thank you, Macker. Senya started to thank the young boy. Oh, but the cowboy had suddenly disappeared, as if he had never been there. Confused, Senya went back to his old, old house. 
Whoa! Princess was already sitting by the door, wagging her tail. Princess wasn't lost at all. She had quickly found her way home because she has a good sense of direction. In dogs, it's Nate. But children, of course, need to learn navigation. Then a walk in the woods won't be scary. My darlings, have you ever been afraid of getting lost somewhere? I've not always been afraid of getting lost, but once I got lost, and then I heard the stir of the cutest kitten. And so, once upon a time, an ordinary kitten lived in a house. He was not one of a kind or something special. But the only thing was, whenever he needed to leave his house, he got lost in a moment. He would jump out into the street to scratch his fur on the ground or have a little run. And then he wouldn't have a clue as to where he was. He would crawl under a bench or into a corner and stay sitting there scared to death. Everything was unfamiliar and he had no idea where his house was. And he wished he was by his owner's side, back in his home again. It was getting dark. Many buildings were surrounding him and arrogant dogs were being walked. Asking them something was so frightening. So, no matter if it was a cat or a dog passing by, they didn't notice the kitten. They were completely lost in their own thoughts and wishes. And time was passing by. It was late at night and the kitten was hungry, but there was nothing to eat. Needs must be met, and the kitten had to risk his life. There was not a crumb of bread inside, and his heart ached with discovery. It was about time to say goodbye to life, when all of a sudden, a bird came from somewhere in the sky. Oh, 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 what is this, a kite? The kitten said frightened, and then he curled up like a hedgehog ball. Well, I'm caught and dead, he thought. And the bird landed and said, hello, I'm a very diligent postman pigeon. Why are you crying? Would you like a sandwich? Can't you find your way back home? Don't you have a compass with you? I'm almost dead. I'm really hungry. The kitten shook his head. Then he put some bites into his mouth and he got a taste for life again. The pigeon is not so frightening anymore. And he asked, do you remember your home address? The kitten tried to recall, but the numbers were all wrong. It would have been better to have them written on my tail. When you have an address, it is easier to search. I am a homing pigeon. Birds like me are never lost and always come home wherever they are. It's all very well, but I'm not a homing kitten. I don't usually need to make an effort to get home. If you ever get lost anywhere, don't let yourself get even more lost and don't be shy with others. Approach somebody who is older than you and describe to someone what you're trying to find. Ah, the kitten perked up. It's so simple. My owner has sunlight dots on her face and a turned up nose. She loves candies and her pockets are always filled with candy wrappers. Her hair is straight, red, with balls on her head. She responds to the name of Masha. At this moment, the pigeon disappeared at once and the kitten got scared again. And he was lonely again, thinking, oh, I'll die abandoned. But suddenly, what is that? She screamed, my kitten! Someone grabs him and squeezes him and pushes his nose inside a bowl with milk. Here is some milk, drink it all. The kitten is so happy, I'm delighted. His owner is cradling him in her arms like a baby. And meanwhile, she said, all tussled up. The tail is covered with burdock. You have your address written, not on your tail, but on your collar. Thanks to the pigeon, he came over and told me where you were. And here's the candy to show you how grateful I am. I'm 
made my way here as fast as I could. Masha looks at the kitten, who is already sleeping peacefully. Here we are again, fellows, my dear fellows. If you get lost, the most important thing is not to panic. Remember your home address, telephone number, and don't hesitate to ask adults for assistance and help. Conquer your fears. If you get lost, pull yourself together and get found. So, 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 where could all of the cartoons be hiding? Hmm, let's start an investigation. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's look for cartoons to pick. I will press this microphone. Masha and the bear, let's go. That's how easy it is. 